and gentlemen, Kevin Casey White! shall not pass and slam this down. <laughs> For all of us, we all want it. Can I just hear that? You shall not pass. <laughs> That's, oh. Oh my God. I have never had such a big dick man in the front row. <laughs> What's your name, bud? Scott. Scott. Hell yeah. <laughs> you can take a pussy name like Scott and make it sound tough. That's good. Cool. <laughs> wow. It's no Kevin, but hey. Yeah, I'm just, Stop. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> I'm the belle of the ball tonight? <laughs> Damn, dude. Is this your wife behind you? It is. <laughs> you look happy. Uh, this is great. Uh, I was, uh, you know, I, I think, do we need the one empty chair right up front behind <laughs> Peter? <laughs> like, can we, I was told this is a sold out sh show. God damn it. It's, <laughs> that's all I've been, while the other comics were up, I've just been staring at one empty chair. Just like, uh, ah! I hope whoever it was got in an accident, you know, something. <laughs> better be a good reason to not be here for me. <laughs> This is my day! <laughs> it's not always as glamorous. Sometimes, Scott, comedy is bad. <laughs> Believe it or not. There ain't, there ain't. What, did somebody, what? <laughs> I said sometimes comedy is bad and I just heard a, a table of women just murmuring, which means... <laughs> You've seen some bad comedy? We've seen, we've seen some really horrible bad. Some horrible comedy? Yes. Who, who, should I get the name? Who was it? We can cut it out of the album, but I want to know. Oh, well, we all know how comedy is in Duluth. Don't get me started on Duluth. Minneapolis, maybe St. Paul is where it's at, but Duluth, boo. I was just gonna tell you guys about some bad, yeah, I did a fucking. <laughs> February 2020, I did maybe the worst show of my life. I did a 3 p.m. show at an old folks home. <laughs> Thank you so much, my career is going great. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was in Duluth, Minnesota. And, uh, <laughs> they were not having it. Uh, I did, I did an afternoon show in a retirement home. And when I got there, <laughs> the guy that booked me said, Kevin, obviously it's a lot of elderly people. Let's keep it clean. Let's keep it G-rated, right? I thought that was stupid, it doesn't make sense. They're not kids, they're adults. They're like the most adult you can get. <laughs> Maxed out level 99 adult. And then <laughs> game over, right? Like, what am I gonna say that's gonna offend the greatest generation, you know? They invented anal, so. <laughs> so when I got there, I, I was real with them. I went up on stage, I was like, hey, they want me to censor myself? I think you've lived rich, full lives. I think you can handle it. Do you, do you like, want me to do what I normally do? They grabbed their canes, they were like, Burr! 
Uh, they were like, uh, it's like their version of cheering. And I was like, all right. And there was this little old lady right in the front row. And I was like, hey, uh, Gladys. <laughs> Why don't you say the first dirty word of the night? And she was like, I can't. <laughs> Just being all coy. I was like, don't overthink it. Just say the first dirty thing that pops in your head. And she was like, I don't know. Pussy holes? The <laughs> Scott, the pussy. <laughs> This woman shows violence. <laughs> of all the parts of a pussy to yell out, right? Pick a labia, menorah, majora, have fun, whatever. The whole? <sighs> we fucked. It was a good show. It was a good show. What's up? What's up? What's up? Come on! It was a good time. Made some new fans, signed some bedpans afterwards. <laughs> Who cares if you bomb at an old folks home, you know what I mean? <laughs> Could be good. That was so, <laughs> good Lord. Yeah, this is gonna be like this all night, isn't it? All right. What is happening upstairs? Cause we got chairs here, we can offer them. Like we got. <laughs> Has ever seen a grown man's dreams fall apart? <laughs> this is good. I'm doing my next special in a bowling alley. This is good for. This is good for audio. <laughs> Kevin, how was the taping in Minneapolis? Well, unfortunately, we couldn't get the gun range, so we had to settle for the second loudest bar. <laughs> God damn. Like I said, it ain't always this glamorous. <laughs> it's a bad sign when you consider this the top. <laughs> That's right, they say you do the comedy corner underground twice. Once on the way up and once on the way down, baby. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna kill myself. So. <laughs> I did a show in Asheville, North Carolina. Yeah? Were you at this one? <laughs> it was not going well. They were not digging me. And this couple in the front row stood up halfway through my set and the guy goes, uh, we're gonna go fuck now, and walked out. <laughs> Scott, what do you do for a living? Compliance. Compliance? <laughs> I'll comply to you any day, baby. <laughs> you ever done so bad at compliancing? What the fuck is that? Oh, following the law. Are you a cop? No. <laughs> Sounds lame. <laughs> but have you ever been so bad at your job you made somebody horny? Did you know that was a metric of failure? <laughs> the Duluth table's having fun. Is this better than Duluth? Minnesota? <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Do you have a friend coming? We gotta lose that chair, right? I mean, I'm sorry. Dress how I look, 
By the way, I'll get this out of the way. Hi, I know I look like the kind of guy that thinks Joe Rogan is smart. I don't. <laughs> you nodding? <laughs> yeah, a little bit, I know. I get the gist, I know why he's popular. Because he gets high and people are like, oh, he's smart. No, he's baked, that's all it is. I think the only reason Joe Rogan is popular is because people miss having a drug dealer's house to go to, that's it. <laughs> Now it's all dispensaries and stuff. Where's the human connection? Don't you miss going to a dude's house and listening to him ramble on about fractals for four hours? <laughs> There's always some dude that stops me. Well, you should listen to it. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. That's why books have covers. That's the whole point of a cover. So I can walk into a store and be like, what is this? Fuck your way to success or whatever. You're like, you know? Nobody's going into a bookstore just like, Grabbing random, we'll see. We'll see what happens when I take it home. Whatever, we'll check it out. Get home, crack it open. Mein Kampf, whoops. It's gonna be a weird book club this week. That's, ooh. The gals are gonna be furious. You gotta judge books by their cover. It's how you get through life. I do it, I do it all the time. I'll tell you a story. I was going into a place and as I was walking in, I saw this guy behind me. He was like a billion years old, okay? He was really, like, you ever see somebody so old they look like haunted? You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? You can like hear their bones, right? He was on, he was on a cane, okay? And I was walking in, he's about as far as I am to, to you, miss, right? And uh, he was moving so slow that a thought popped in my head, okay? I was like, all right, I'll hold the door. And I was like, come on, come on, come on, man, Kev. I hope I'm not holding the door open for some old racist. That would be bad, right? There's like a good chance this dude is like, thought the inward today, definitely yelled it out of a bus window in his lifetime, kind of, like, you know? And then I was like, uh, Kev, you don't know this guy. Don't judge a book by its cover, all right? You don't know, it, it, there's progressives at any point in history, even, no matter how old he is, you know? And then he got to me, this is true, he got to me and he paused and he goes, I don't need you holding the door open for me. I'm no woman sexist. Close. <laughs> yeah. And I kicked his cane out from under him. I was like, you fight like a girl, you know? <laughs> yeah, I beat up an old man for this joke. <laughs> Cause like you wanna do nice things, right? You wanna be a good person, but you wanna do nice things for nice people. You don't do nice things for shitty people. You don't like be the guy that Help the Oklahoma City bomber parallel park that truck. You don't want to be that dude. Somebody was there, like, back it up, bud. Yep. There you go, right here in front of the federal building, right? And this time of day? That's crazy. Great spot. Good job. Oklahoma City Bomber. That's what they call me every time I perform in that trash town. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Haven't they suffered enough? They say as I get off the plane. I <laughs> you ever been to Oklahoma City? I have. Yeah. Did you have fun? No, yeah, it sucks, right? <laughs> it's the Duluth of the... <laughs> <laughs> the You a smart guy, Scott? I would hope so. Yeah. Damn, our, everything you say sounds confident. Smart ass. Yeah? <laughs> smart ass. Yeah. But you know, he lays that pipe, so <laughs> we keep him around. We ain't mad. <laughs> we ain't mad. Four kids? Fuck. <laughs> that you know of. <laughs> I don't know if I'm smart. I don't think I'm dumb. I just ask like a lot of dumb questions. Do you ever do this? Whenever I have like a dumb thing I need to Google, I do it in incognito mode. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, right? Yeah. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm so glad you feel me on that. Like, I'm so afraid I'm gonna like hand my phone to my friend. They're gonna type in the letter D. <laughs> And like, do plants have feelings? Is gonna pop up. I don't want 
to explain myself, you know? That's a real thing I Googled. Do plants have feelings? I also Googled, do dogs think in barks? We don't know. And am I autistic? That is a thing that I Googled. <laughs> I got too high at a party. I was in the corner, afraid. I, I wasn't making eye contact with anybody. And I was like, nobody would tell me. I wouldn't, there's no way to know. We gotta figure this out, I gotta take a test. And the answer to that question is behind a paywall, so we don't know. We don't know. TikTok has been recommending a lot of videos where a hydraulic press smashes stuff. That's not a good sign. Need a sec? <laughs> Can we get some oxygen to the Duluth table? <laughs> Why do only humans have to brush their teeth? That's one I started looking at. That's what the group of friends, I said out loud. I was like, Why do only humans brush? No other animal brushes their teeth. You know? They don't get cavities. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. My friend. She's much smarter than me. She stopped me. She said, Kevin, put your phone down. It's obvious. What do only humans eat that no other animal eats? And I was like, oh, of course. Ass. And she was like, sugars, Kevin. Processed sugars is the answer. High fructose corn syrup. And I was like, yeah, but also ass. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. No other animals doing that. Don't tell me dogs. It's your own ass. It's fine. But someone else's, you know? You don't ever see that in the wild. You never been watching Animal Planet and seen a dolphin be like, come on, babe, it's my birthday. You know? How long have you been married? Twenty something. Why keep counting? Fuck it. You're doing by decades now. That's great. You're sitting by yourself, arms crossed. Oh, you're booed up too. You got two girlfriends. That's cool. <laughs> two behind you. Is anybody here not in a couple? This sucks. What? Where's a couple? That you're a, you're single. Oh, my. I'll sit by you. Whatever. You know? It's just. This guy fucking sucks. <laughs> Say something funny. <laughs> Scott, get up there and do five for me, will you? <laughs> Uh, what happened? Your date didn't, uh, what happened? I'm sorry I st said I hope they get in a car accident, <laughs> by the way. He said his roommate has COVID. <sighs> Can we call him? Yeah. <laughs> you want to get him on the horn? I want to see, how long have you guys been dating? I've never met him. You've never met him? <laughs> but how'd, you, how'd you meet him? Hinge. Do you have his profile available for us to look at? <laughs> Do you think you'll eventually go on a date with this guy? No. No. How long ago did he tell you this COVID thing? Three hours. Three hours ago. And if, for those of you watching at home, this is a four hour show. Andrew, let's have a look. <laughs> okay, <laughs> can we just get a shot of the? <laughs> this dude, how how old is he? He's 25. This dude has a dirt lip, like a legit. I don't think is this. Did you card this? Is this guy of age? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, hold on a second. All right, all right. Okay. Okay, 
I don't know if y'all, I'm sorry, are you fine? You're fine with this, right? This guy sucks, all right. All right, some of us, we might need to squint. Can we see this guy right here? Looks like kind of a fuck boy, right? Kind of a fuck boy? Okay, this is for the women in the back. I'm gonna give you one guess as to what his hometown is. Duluth. He's from fucking Duluth! <laughs> you can't be fucking with Duluth, boys! Every mama tells her daughter, don't hook up with a boy from Duluth! God! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, I, I hate this. Um, not, nothing that, you know, just typical Duluth shit. Uh, <laughs> did you know you can uh, call, like do a face, yeah. like a video call? <laughs> yeah, you can do like a FaceTime on these. I'm gonna text him. <laughs> oh yeah, you do have his number. I took it off. <laughs> What's your name again? Bella. Bella. Great name. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I put a fun filter on my face while we wait? Uh, he's a voice. All right, I'm just going to text him coward. <laughs> What is that? What did I text? Coward. Coward! I just wanted you to know I'm, <laughs> I'm doing it. Uh. Oh, is it you or him that does improv? Neither of us. You guys are talking about doing improv. <laughs> Whose idea was that? His. Yeah, I think we all knew that. All you wanted was a yes and, and he gave you a no button for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> if he calls back, let me know. All right, I owe you a drink, and I owe Bella a drink. If the server comes around, let him know. Uh, well, I got, I got dumped. Uh, let's talk. <laughs> it was her. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I uh, <laughs> I told you February 2020, I did that old folks home show. March 2020, I got, yeah, it was a fun time for all of us. Yeah, March, March 2020, I got dumped. And a week later in New York, we went into full lockdown. Yeah. It's like the universe was like, Kevin, go to your room. Like, <laughs> it was a long winter breakup too. It was one of those like terrible, like, like on again, off again, we're back on, we're back off. Can I go get my t-shirt? We're dating again, what's going on? You're just like stuck in relationship limbo. It's like not even up to you. It's just, uh, oh, it's so aggravating. You're just trapped. It's like, it's like turning off a ceiling fan, you know? You're just like stuck standing there, just like click. <laughs> Click. 
click. Click, click, click. Click, 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 click. Instagram. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> you know what I mean? It sucks. I did it. The leader off of everything. Facebook. LinkedIn. <laughs> That's right. I, <laughs> the leader off of LinkedIn. Because I might be a bad boyfriend, but I'm a hell of a reference, okay? <laughs> She doesn't deserve me. Yeah, no, she's uh, got great organizational skills. She's a true leader and, oh God, she just lights up a room. No, no more. Dating again, dating's weird right now. There's a dude. It's a weird time right now. All my girl friends online unanimously are all like, we don't need men anymore. We're done with them. Just vehemently, we're done with men. It's like, I just got back. Whoa, damn. We don't need men, that sucks. <laughs> Ugh, I hope you need men. I need men. You think I know how to change oil? I need a man around. I don't know how to do anything. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. Like, when you say that, I'm not disagreeing with you. I just think there's a little nuance, you know? I, I don't think it's like, it's not like you don't need men. You just don't need, uh, like Kevin's, you just don't need me. Like you don't, I, I'm just taking up space. You don't, you don't need, like Bella, okay? Like if you woke up tomorrow and all the Kevins of the world were gone, you'd be fine, right? Yes, but Andrews. Yes, Andrews and Kevins could both go, 110%. <laughs> exactly, everybody from Duluth and every 30 year old with a skateboard can be gone. <laughs> You'll survive. <laughs> I'm gonna take a big swing on how some of us vote in this room. If you disagree, I don't really care. I'm making a point, all right? Here we go. <laughs> it's like, it's not like you don't need men, okay? But sadly, the men we need are the men we hate, right? Like if your toilet breaks, you don't want me showing up, I'm useless. You want a dude that was arrested storming the Capitol, all right? <laughs> you don't. It's true, that dude knows how to fix a turlet. It's true, I don't know. I don't know what it is about thinking therapy is gay that makes you good with a wrench, but that side has it covered. There's a political divide in this country and only one half knows how to operate a forklift. It ain't my side, it's true. I'm sorry. Right? And as a liberal cuck, I gotta say, <laughs> sequels are never as good as the original. If we have another civil war, my side is dead. I'm screwed. I am so screwed, all right? If Mercury goes into retrograde, I'm dead, all right? <laughs> like, I live in Brooklyn, New York. That means all my friends, there's a good chance, will just be like, oh yeah, I didn't go to war today. I was in a K-hole. Shut up. <laughs> Learn how to use a crossbow or some artisanal weapon like that, or start getting along with your uncle again. Because I, I know when I'm outgunned. We gotta get along, okay? This is a message of peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try to work on my confidence again, you know? I love doing this. I love getting to do this. One-on-one -on -one life, like daily, day-to-day -day stuff, I can get a little shy, I think we all can. 
whenever I need a little pick me up. I, I always think about this, uh, this kid I went to school with, maybe the most confident person I've ever met in my life. His name was Josh. Josh's last name was spelled W-E-I-N-E-R. <laughs> yeah, but he owned it. First day of school, teacher was doing roll call. She got to Josh's name, she paused. She goes, is Josh? <sighs> Weiner here? He stood up. It's pronounced Wiener. Nice. <laughs> I want that. I want that confidence. He kind of jumped the shark, though. Eighth grade, we all knew him at this point. Same song and dance. First day of school, eighth grade. Teacher's doing roll call. She gets to Josh. She goes, is Josh Wiener here? He stood up. It's pronounced Dick. All right. <laughs> Too much. Too confident. No one man should have all that power. I'm not getting more confident as I get older. I'll show you why. Hi, hello, my name's Kevin. This is how I look. And this is what I'm doing. Thank you so much. Oh, look at it. Look at the man with a bald spot. Ugh. I'm a person, damn it. Ugh. I came to this club last year, this is true, a woman was sitting right where you were and I showed her this and I heard her go, ugh. <laughs> what the hell? I was like, yeah, it is sad, thank you, miss. I have lived with this, I have to see it in the mirror every day, thank you. Ah, oh, it's so rude of her, I had to be like, are you, what, what? And she was like, oh, sorry, I just, my son's gonna be bald. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's gonna live a normal life till he's 23. Leave him alone, what are you talking about? <laughs> she came up to me after the show and was like, sorry about that. It's, <laughs> it's just that, you know, like, it's, you know, my husband's bald, my dad was bald, my grandpa was bald. And I was like, are you, I have a black friending at me with bald? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not thrilled about, about all that. <laughs> There's some bald kings here. Oh my God. Oh There's like a couple of, come here. It's all good. It's all good. Come on. Just loud and proud owning it. You got a hat on, let me see it. You got one? Let me see. I've never had so many bald people up front before. <laughs> yeah, this feels good. <laughs> Boys, tonight we ride. <laughs> this is great. Oh, this is gonna be bump now. I think I'll be okay. Okay, all right, cool. Because I was in denial about this for a long time, right? I went through that breakup. And then you, you, and you knows what this feels like. Everybody else, plug your ears, I guess. Uh, nobody knows what it's like to like <laughs> be newly bald. <laughs> you go to the beach all day with your friends, you're just hanging out, and then the next day you have a sunburn three inches in diameter right at the top of your head. <laughs> like God's following you around with a magnifying glass just right up top, <laughs> just one little focal point. I had to get a yarmulke just to go to the beach. It sucks. <laughs> you think wearing a shirt in a pool is embarrassing? How about a hat? Nobody likes that guy. It's a bad look when you're newly single and your only hair product is sunscreen, all right? <laughs> and I'm bummed because I can't ever have a cool haircut ever again. Like when I was a kid, like when I was young, I used to listen to a lot of punk rock, like a lot of like heavy, hardcore, like, fuck you, dad, get out of my room. You know what I mean? Like the heavy stuff and... <laughs> I like girls and I'm scared of them. You know, that was my jam. And I just thought the coolest haircut somebody could have would be a mohawk. I can't do that now. I can't have a mohawk that starts here, ends here, starts again here, goes down. Ah, oh, is that guy going in the pit? Yeah, and I'm gonna be winded. What about it? Leave me alone. It's business in the front, disappointment in the back. It sucks. Dash, dot, dash, S-O-S, because I'm saving on shampoo, Scott. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I chime in with the haven't you people ever heard of wearing a hat indoors. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for coming out. This is an absolute dream. You guys are the best. Did we ever hear from Andrew? Did he respond to coward? Oh, oh let's go. a drink on Andrew. <laughs> Sushi. Billy's. Okay, let her speak for herself. Wait, can I, just, can I just say one story real quick? You have, you have, you, Andrew, you have the floor. Right, I just want to say, when I was invited to this, I was afraid that you would do crowd work. <laughs> FaceTime from the fucking comedian is maybe the best Guess what, Andrew? You can't escape me, man. You can't. You can't, dude. Oh! Oh, I'm in your head. This is not fun. Nah, it's pretty fun. We had fun? It's pretty fun. Oh, by the way, uh, can I get permission to use you in my special? <laughs> yeah, you can, please. Can you, say please. Your, can, you, can you say your first and last name and that we have permission to use your name and likeness in the special? I don't want to do that. Dude. Come on. Dude. 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 This is so cool, man. This this moment is bad. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't care. Nobody cares about your hair, dude. It, this is my life's work. I said about my hair. I said I don't care. Oh, you don't care? Yeah, say your say say. So yeah, just first name, last name. You can use my name and likeness in this special. Alright, my name is Andrew. I'm looking forward to these people killing me. Um, you can use my likeness in the special. Beautiful. 
Uh, fuck, man. I really wanted to let him have it, and then we needed his permission, and so... <laughs> Bella, my hands are tied. <laughs> I, you seem like a sweet girl, but also, daddy's got to eat, so. <laughs> I almost died three times because my career is fucking going great.